tempted to go and load up coasters, but I'm not sure if it's too late for that. Hmm. Unless my win app is still broken here. I don't know what it is, but it choked on one of the Pizza Dude files. And it has been broken there on my screen since then. There we go. Got it. Also, something is really eating computer. There it is. I was going to say, CPU usage, oh, you can't see it, was through the roof. SimCity 3000. Uh, Oregon Coaster Tycoon. Well, let me load up a Roller Coaster Tycoon 2 scenario and see what we have. Roller Coaster Tycoon, you haven't seen a stream of mine since 2003. Ha <laughs> ha. Ha 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 ha. Get out. No, I'm kidding. We can be friends. Guys, it's it's January 2nd. The time for I haven't done this since last year jokes is sort of expired. Give it a few months, then it'll mean something again. Coaster Factory, Roller Coaster Rampage. There we go. What was I gonna say? Uh, oh yeah, I was thinking of playing The Sims again one day. I have to come up with a theme for it all, though. I could play Puyo Puyo, but um, I'm still running VirtualBox. It's eh, just the program, not the actual thing. I could play. Uh, well, I've lost my train of thought. I could play something, but I'll load this up. How is it 2.21 a.m.? Because it is Eastern Standard Time, and I can't really talk terribly well right now. Oh, yeah, with Sims, I'm trying to get themes for things. Because it's kind of hard just to play The Sims and not have really any goal or uh, theme for everything and I need to come up with an idea for that before I play it again. Also with The Sims it's kinda difficult to um, manage a whole bunch of things at once. I mean I know it's sort of part of the game but oops, screw that up. It's part of the game but it's hard to manage individual things and read the chat and take suggestions and whatnot, because it all sort of... oops. All sort of devolves into a mess. But I do want to play it again. In fact, it's sitting in my disk drive right now. So I haven't forgotten about The Sims. Uh, can't play Windows, alright. There we go. But yeah, I downloaded that game, which is not that, because that's not Roller Coaster Tycoon. There we go. I downloaded that really awful dating sim C grade deviant art game and spent money on it because I thought it'd be funny. But it's not funny. It's just bad and terrible and I don't know how much of it I could potentially show off on stream because it is sort of pornographic in places. One of these days I'll replace all that. It's, uh... Let's see, is there anything I could show you to get... let you get an idea? Where's that one awful screenshot? Yeah, this one. See, it's a terrible DeviantArt game and eventually you transform into a lady and then a cat, squid, mermaid, awful thing and the art is bad and the writing is bad and everything is bad and it's also full of god-awful anime boobs and it's just not a good game. And also they put it up on some Kickstarter thing, not Kickstarter per se, but 
a Kickstarter-esque thing and got like 27 grand to fund that. I, that's... You could buy so much stuff. Why would you fund a game that way? It looks horrendous. I bought it because it was on sale and I thought I could stream it before I realized it was full of just topless anime things and it's so bad. Indiegogo, yeah, that's the one. Let's see. What's the scenario? Hmm. Monthly income from ride tickets of $5,000. Situated near a highway junction in the desert. I was going to say, it sounds like New Jersey from that first half. Have I ever played the weird My Little Pony dating sim choose your own adventure porn thing? Uh, no. Can't say I want to either. Can't say I really want any of those things. Uh, I could probably do this. Animatronic film set. I'm sorry, Micro TV. Well, I mean, at least you supported the devs to make great new deviant art dating sims. And maybe one of those will be streamable. Let's see. Well, this is. Okay, this will take a while, this scenario. Build ten different excitement or uh, ten different roller coasters. That's uh, I don't know, six hours maybe. I could split that into two things. This one repay the loan and get a park value of 240 grand. Uh could probably do that. Animatronic film set. Could potentially do that one too. The lone one might take less time than three years. I'm not sure, though. You can make a future park! Oh, this... Oh. What is this supposed to look like? Extraterrestrial extravaganza. Seizure City. You know, it's got a big jello river. Like the future has. Oh, we can try this one. Let's see. Repay the loan and get a park value of 240000 What's it now? 51000 I could do that. Ever played Toilet Tycoon? Sure have. I spent money on Toilet Tycoon. It's not very good. In case you're wondering. Would not recommend it. Now, nah, let's try this. Add title. Goal. Repay loan and get park value of 240,000. Thankfully, they don't make you get a good park rating, which means you could have every guest come in here and immediately die. Although it would sort of be an issue because people wouldn't come in in general, but we'll work with it. Repay the loan. Repay the loan. Oh, man. It's something I've never been good at. Well, anyway, step one of repaying the loan is making immediate $20 umbrella stands. Trap the guests. Uh, you know, that might be a good idea. Make a big... Maze Island just to get people's money. I'll see about that. Because that might really help getting a whole bunch of money, which is what you're going to need in this theme park. There we go. How much is the restroom? Free? No. 20 cents. Yeah, somebody made that subreddit. I sort of think it's silly because I'm not important. Ooh. Fancy future lights. What is in the future? Future slopes. Alien historical structures. You know, Statue of, Liber Statue of Liberty. Made by aliens. Or French people. 
In the future, there's no difference. Future craters, future moon space bits, future alien butts, future robot butts. Animatronic good alien. Animatronic evil alien. Animatronic space ranger. Hover car. Anti-gravity LCD billboard. What should I write on this? Maybe I'll make a ride first. I'll worry about decorating it later. Let's see. There's a subreddit for toaster rights. That seems like a thing the internet would do. Hyper twister air power jet power. I don't even remember what half of these things are. Flying turns is a bobsled. Can you keep a death count? Yeah, go for it. Yeah, shout out to future butts. Uh, gentle junior coaster. Eh, screw it. I'll just make a hyper twister. Why not? That sounds like the future to me. Where does it go? I don't know. Also, in the future, queue lines are really inefficient. Why do you make someone walk all the way around there? What's my favorite Zoo Tycoon? I actually haven't played any Zoo Tycoons. You know, although I heard the new one on the uh, Xbox One wasn't too bad. Although that would involve spending a whole bunch of money for a new console. You can just play a PC game that's... a decade and a half old, if I had to guess at this point. Build you, build you... Oh! Am I already broke? I am. I'm supposed to pay the loan down entirely. I've taken almost all the money so far. Isn't the new Zoo Tycoon on the 360 as well? You know, I thought it was an Xbox exclusive, but it might be. I don't know. I don't own an Xbox. And I haven't turned the PS3 on in ages. Let's see, 120 feet, 75 feet, that'll work. I've never played Zoo Tycoon. I brought a copy with me uh, to college to play it. But... Problem is that, then Final started up, and I didn't have any time to do anything other than study, so... Never got around to it. I think I might still have it here, though. Probably should play that one day. Also, thank you for subscribing, Kill... Konilit... Koin... I can't pronounce her name. But thank you all the same. Now let's bring this close to the platform. Come on, ride. Don't run out of money yet. What would the makers of Pizza Dude think? God, Pizza Dude. What a game. It's like a Flash game that, you know, you would give to your parents who don't enjoy video games but just want to click things and pass the time. That's Pizza Dude. It's like the pizza equivalent of that Shockwave game that was, um... Oh, you know the one. It was, uh... Nabisco Armored Car, where you drive the little Nabisco van around the 3D city and, uh... make deliveries for people. That was a fun game. It was all 3D, and that was cool in... whenever it came out in the age of Shockwave, which is not really a thing that I don't think is used for anything anymore. Does anything use Shockwave at this point? I mean, Flash is sort of on the way out. I can't imagine Shockwave having any sort of usage. If I turn the PS3 on, it would cough dust into my face, probably. Just haven't played a whole lot of console games recently. 
Just a lot of uh, portable things. Also, thank you for subscribing. Magical Trevor with a couple of vowels missing. Last turn's gonna be brutal. Eh, that's what breaks are for. And besides, we've got medics that are good enough to probably glue your neck back once it pops off. Eye sketch does. Oh yeah, that's right. Eye sketch exists. RuneScape does. Well, I've never played that. Go for blazing miles an hour. Believe in you, ride. Oh, pff, just 45 mile per hour hairpin turn. That's nothing. You'll be fine. Just use the other people around you as airbags. Doesn't pull that many G's anyway. And why stream Persona 3? Oh, I don't know. As far as I can tell, there's no roller coasters in it. Yeah, it's pretty good. 7.29. I'm gonna leave that turn in, because I'm too lazy to replace it. No, I never played RuneScape. I don't really play any MMOs. I don't have the time anymore. And the problem is, I get really easily addicted, let's make the pathways match, to uh, stupid MMOs. Not even good ones, just free, awful Korean ones where everything has cat ears. Oh no, deleting that costs money. I thought it would give me money. But I just end up sinking entirely too much time into them. And I've got all this stuff I have to get done, so... For now... Probably not going to play any. We used to have it where people who guessed the excitement closest to the ride name got to name it. It sort of got a little too hectic to decide who had won, though. Oh, dude, I haven't played Fly for Fun in years. Have I played Papers, Please? I have. I really liked it. Free? Wait, no, it can't be free. Pay your loan. Oh, no. It is free. Alright, fine. 20 bucks. 20 bucks to get in the park. That's my biggest complaint with Roller Coaster Tycoon 2. I want to make the rides cost money, but I can't because they're all free and only the entrance costs money. Ever played Jade Dynasty? Nope. Didn't have an Xbox. I played Silk Road Online, which is not at all the same, but it was sort of Chinesey, which I'd assume Jade Dynasty is. Another awful free MMO I played. Better put non ride photo. Crunchjaw, you're a genius. Assuming it has a non ride photo. I'm not sure if it does, to be honest. Actually, now that I look at it, I don't even think it has any straight parts. No, it does have an on ride photo, technically. That could work, but where would it go? We could just cut this part out. Make it go straight. Get rid of this. Back, back, straight. On right photo. And some brakes. There. Now it's safe, and it'll make more money. And let's open it. It's probably good enough. Yeah, monotone silk 420 road. Yeah, you can make them pay for bathrooms, but not rides in Roller Coaster Tycoon 2, which is very aggravating. Ever play any of the Tales games? Uh, Symphonia and Abyss. Just those. Mini suspended flying coaster. I don't know what that is. Hoverboard coaster. Mini suspended flying coaster. This looks more like a hoverboard than this does. This just looks like a ski lift from 1985. 
Oh man, jet skis on Jello. Make the queue line the same as the rest. I always make my queue lines blue. No matter what I make, what park it is, what the color scheme originally is, it's always a blue queue line instead. Do I have any mechanics? I don't. Now I've got one handyman and one mechanic. They're white because it's the future. Oh, that's sort of racist. Let me make them a different color. It's blue because that's the handyman color. Not the right shade, though. That one. Handyman one can be... Da, 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 da. You. Volante with a one and a four. And mechanic one can be... Da, 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 da. You. Kill... Koi... Nah, I still can't pronounce her name. But you're the mechanic. Never played Skies of Arcadia, either. Can I see the stats? Yeah, sure. I doubt they change too much. Yeah, high, high, medium. More or less the same. What is this? Double deck observation tower. Can it go faster? No, it can't. What a ripoff. Why are there even pyri or, uh, pyramids in the future, anyway? Got some future Egyptians in this. Uh, I don't know. 727 bucks. What do we do with that money? Future scrambled eggs. Can't charge any money, though. Hmm. That's the really annoying thing. I can't charge ride admission. Eh, ride admission. Only admission for the park. Which means, unless I could put an on-ride photo onto it, it's not going to make any money. Also, let's turn the research funding down, because I don't have a whole lot of money to spare. Eh, what do people think? What do you think about the park? This coaster was great. I feel sick. I'm tired. I'm not thirsty. This park is clean and tidy. This path is disgusting. Wow, no one thinks there's anything wrong with the paths. In fact, everyone thinks it's clean and tidy. Thanks, Margarita R. Brian R. I appreciate the compliment. You know, we strive for 100% satisfaction. Everything we do. Put all the money into high-risk stock. I wish. No stock options in this game. Nah, clean that up. Never played... What? No, I think I played Age of Empires 3 because it was for sale for a penny or something. Death Counter 1. Oh, that doesn't count. That person deserved it. I don't even think I have any grave marking things. I guess no one dies in the future. Nope, never played Thrillville either. Why is there acid coursing through my pathways? Because it's the future, and that's it's the hip new thing. Do I need a pizza place? I do. We need to call it Pizza Dude, but we haven't invented them yet. We can make balloon stalls, though. People will pay for useless garbage. Both in the game and in life. God, now I really need to get a pizza place just to call it Pizza Dude. Holographic graves, a billboard as a tombstone. Let's see, where is that? Anti-gravity LCD billboard. Can I make it say anything? No, I can't. I guess it's just this. Hmm. Casualties. One. So far, I'll keep this uploaded, or not uploaded, updated. Make it future colors where everything is chrome. There we go. Oh, 
Oh, I never played Toontown. A friend of mine did. But I was too cool and mature for Disney. Which is why I also never played Kingdom Hearts, although I heard that was actually pretty good. At least parts of it were. Is this theme park on Mars? You know, it might be. Never made that connection. But I guess all the dancing aliens and UFOs would probably give it away as Mars then, wouldn't it? And whatever the hell this is. Big gyrating alien lump. Is Toontown still ongoing? I kind of feel like it wouldn't be. Also, holy hell, there's a giant spaceship here. I should totally destroy this and get free money. Yeah, it's the future. It has to be Mars. That's how the future works. Uh, let's make another... Well, how much of a ride can I make with about two grand? Could be New Mexico. Yeah, sure. It's all the nuclear radiation from all of the atomic tests. Just in a river. Build a coaster on the spaceship. Oh, it's not going to reach that high. Toontown was shut down recently. It always seemed like a game you played because your parents wouldn't let you play anything else. From what I remember, you couldn't even talk to people in Toontown. Like, a friend of mine was playing it, and he was in an elevator, I think, in like a loading screen with someone. And you couldn't, uh directly chat with people. He can only use preset phrases or commands. And when he left the computer, I kept typing like smells as in like it smells. Or not typing, but selecting it from the preset list of messages while other people were in the elevator. Because I thought it was funny and I was like 12 and you know sort of tied into a fart joke. And he came back and was yelling at me because he thought he'd get banned because apparently typing or telling people that they smell over and over is a bannable offense on Toontown? Or maybe we were just really young and it was... I don't know... something we thought was real. But... It just seemed like a game that you played at a necessity, not a game that was really that great on its own. They added type chat later. Yeah, I didn't have that. Well, I mean, I didn't have it. I didn't see it when he played. You smell, was that the command? Alright. Something like that. Something about smelling. Apparently it was a rude thing to say to people, but... I don't know, Disney. I don't know. You smell, what did you say to me, mild peep? Oh, wait, that was a little too long. Oops. We could be friends again, mild peep. I showered and everything. Do do do. I'll just make that a ban word. Was it you? I don't remember. Will you get banned? I don't think I could ever ban Big Boss. I like Metal Gear Solid 3 too much for that. Been meaning to play that game again one day. Haven't had the time. Let's see. Is he still banned? No, he's not. He's right there. Anybody want to just make money? Just generate a bunch of money? I'll hire you and you can just go and mug people in the park. Why did you get banned? I don't know. I don't think I clicked you. Did I? If I did, I apologize. I think I did, though. Play on stream. The thing is that I'm not especially great at... Uh, Metal Gear Solid or video games in general. 
I'm not like dark side feel bad at Metal Gear Solid, but I think it might just be unintentionally aggravating. And I don't know if there's a whole lot I could really add to uh, Metal Gear Solid. That's the thing, there's not that much open end. Well, in a way there's some open-ended opportunity for things, but uh, not like in the sense that uh, you know, you can make specific things or do things radically different each time. Don't I have a record for the Oregon Trail? Yeah, but that's a joke. Being good at the Oregon Trail is literally just knowing when you have to click the button. That's it. Oh, come on, game. There's no music either. Where are my future sounds? My sick future beats. Techno style. The most beautiful park in the country. Yeah. Thanks for the award, Ray Charles. I appreciate it. Is this even playing music? I can't even hear it. Can you guys hear it? Also, let me see before this crashes. Space music. Is that a choice? I missed it. Space. There it is. What music is even in space? Yeah, Rock 2, the theme of the future. They've just distilled rock and roll down into one song. You want to listen to rock? You listen to the rock and roll song. Maybe rock and roll too. That's it. That's music in the future. All the other albums have been destroyed. Just Rock 2 remains. It's a recreation of what people think music used to be. In space, no one can hear music. That's why I was wondering what space sound music is. The sound of a vacuum. It's a ride for babies. Junior roller coaster. What people need to realize, though, is that even kids can be disappointed by crappy rides. What was my favorite roller coaster tycoon scenario ever? Micro Park. It's like 12 or 13 by 13. That's it. And it's really fun because everything just gets super cramped and at the end of the day when you finish the scenario you have a park that looks horrendous but it's kinda neat looking given how much stuff you were able to compact in one little area and uh... one of the few times you seriously need to plan out things in Roller Coaster Tycoon broken coaster, that's alright, I've got a mechanic Also, my throat really hurts, and I guess that's what happens when you talk for hours on end. I'm going to die. I mean, eventually, I guess, but... Stream-related illness. Oh man, was that exciting? Uh, what? Excitement of five? No, it really isn't that good. But I know it'll make it better. How about some alien plants? Is that what they call this? Um. Hmm. I don't know about these. I mean, if that's what the kids like, and if that makes it a more exciting ride, sprinkling, al er, sprinkling alien seeds on every kid riding this thing, well, I guess I'll do it. Now the excitement is high. Fantastic. I'm gonna get a bunch of parents complaining about this, I'm sure. What is that? It's alien plant 
What kind? I don't know. What's it expelling? Uh, alien plant seeds. How much is left on the loan? Uh, all of it. Thought I didn't want to show porn on stream. You know what's oddly hypnotic? Just watching them all undulate like that. I'm going to charge more money. 25. Park is worth it. The plant makes the excitement higher because the seeds contain a chemical that makes the kids more excited. Sounds like a plan to me. I'm majoring in space biology. God, if only. Roller coaster dynamics and space biology. I got one more semester left in college, but maybe it's not too late to switch. Is there a guest 420? I'd have to turn the options off. Uh. Yeah, there is. There is. There's Snoop. Good friend, guest 420. Astrobiology is an actual thing. Yeah, I've heard of it, but we don't have a major. I doubt there's enough material on it quite yet to do a major. On, like, the undergrad level, at least. I need another handyman, by the way. Too much barf. Not enough brooms. You, American Dragon 924, you could be the handyman. You already have a two in your name, that's alright. When did this game come out? Uh, 1999 was the original Roller Coaster Tycoon. Uh, this one I think was 2000? 2001. One of the two. A little later. Well, I have a graduation stream. Uh, probably not. Six Flags charges 80 bucks. It does! I'd go, but it's a lot of money to pay for just the ability to wait in line. So why bother? I'll just sit at home and play with fake roller coasters and eat ice cream and then cry into the carton because, oh god, I'm so alone. And it's almost the same thing. And I don't even have to wait in line. How long have I been streaming for tonight? Uh... Six? Six? Uh, about five and a half hours, I think. Starting at about 9.30, 9.40. My chair is very squeaky. Apologize for that. Uh, da, 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 da. Oh, we have two of these. I didn't realize. Two of the launchy coasters. Do I stream every day? Ah, uh, nope. Closer to every week, although that is not guaranteed. <laughs> I've got a really awful stream schedule. Uh, as much as I'd like to stream, I've just been really busy. I've got a bunch of grad school apps that I still have to get out. Let's make one of these. And uh, in about two and change weeks, I'm going to spend my last semester in college studying abroad in London. And I have no idea what my streaming schedule is going to be like there. I don't know what the rooming situation is going to be like. If there's a roommate, there probably is. But if he's going to be around the room at all, or if I'd have an area for streaming, I've got no clue. And I'm already broke, somehow. How long will I be up? I don't know. Let's see how far into the scenario I can get first. I'll be crammed into a closet with a really posh British kid. Hey, you know, if I can get something of a British accent in like five months, stream might be better off for it. Slutty Kate to oh. Now I'll never see it. Man. Mods ruin everything. 
Do I YouTube? Not really. The YouTube account is just stuff I happen to upload, either from the stream or just miscellaneous garbage I've done. I don't really use it seriously for anything. I should play Long Live the Queen with my new roommate. Yeah, it'll be the perfect icebreaker. Hey, I'm gonna stream myself playing a game where I'm a 14 year old anime princess. Do you wanna join? You see, I'm acting out the fantasy where I was born as a Japanese girl. And I will fit in so well. You know, that's that's how you make friends, that's how you make nice, effective roommates. Am I going to play Real Lives tonight? Oh, I don't think so. I think it might run too late for that. God damn it! I got no money. Don't step in your dreams. I'm sorry, Sourdough Jack. You should aspire to be whatever you want to be. I don't want to play High School Dreams anymore. I played that. I beat that. I'm done. I'm done being a goth high school girl making gelato for fashion money or whatever it is I even did in that game. Must finish ride. Oh god, I shouldn't have made this one. It's gonna cost way too much to finish. Oops. Did I delete a pathway? I did. You know, we'd have a lot more money if the pathways didn't have lasers flowing through them. Alright. Bump up the entrance. Hey, Lulzbot. Do I ever swear on stream? Not really... It's not like I make a point not to, it's just, this is how I talk in general. So, this is just generally what comes out of my mouth. Uh, is this, wait, what is this? What's that red crap down there? Oh, wait. That's a different color for dirt, isn't it? Yeah, it is. I was hoping... I could delete all of that. I thought it might have been pathways, but no, it's just dirt. You can't delete dirt for anything. I mean, you can, but it costs money, and that's not good. Could jack up the prices on the food stands. Uh, you're right. I could. Uh, how much do people pay right now? What is this? Ice tea, buck ten. Nope, buck thirty. Drinks. Buck forty. Uh. Fries. Uh, Two dollars. Everything's losing money. What is this? Hall of Mirrors. You know, that's the future. Mirrors. Futuristic technology right there. Delete the spaceship as much as I don't want to do it. It is free money. Sorry, NASA. Oops. Space program's officially cancelled. Is that free stuff to delete? Or is that taking money? No, it takes money. Could I delete life on Mars for money? Sort of? Actually, yes. Sorry, Mars. This is why we never found aliens. Deleted them all. I sold them all into slavery. Must finish flying turns. This ride just looks like a big scarf. Uh, I'll finish the multi-screen uh, multi Pokemon things eventually, I think. The problem is I'm just worried that they're not going to be interesting later down the line, you know. 
once the bad translation gimmick kind of wears off, and it might already be there. I'm not sure if it'll still be worth watching. Oh god, I'm already broke. Where'd all that money go? Yeah, where's the realism? Make a hundred dollar entrance fee and five bucks per drink. Isn't there, like, a Mars Tycoon or something? I think there's an Atlantis Tycoon. Also, why are so many people online for this? No. You people should be walking around, spending your money. Not sitting here. Brad's clothes, get out of here. This thing only takes, like, one person at a time, so the more people that are waiting on the queue line, this means more money is wasted. By people not spending it. How dare you. All the money I could have had from all you people buying sodas. Oops, let's get rid of this. There. And I'll get rid of this eventually. We should have a sub-only chat. Nah, I'm good. Don't want to do that. Don't want to exclude anybody. Fairy Godmother Tycoon. That is a game, isn't it? I think somebody linked me to that once, or something that sounds like it. What do you even do for Fairy Godmother Tycoon? You just walk around beating kids' teeth out? Is that just Hockey Tycoon, then? Oh god, no more Skate Park Tycoon, please. That would be terrible. You know, I should just put a no-entry sign here instead of wasting all this time waiting for them to move. There you go. No entry. <laughs> yeah, the malevolent dictator tone, Tim. I didn't actually register that one yet. All I have is just... This one. Benevolent dictator tone, Tim. I was actually surprised they let you register names that long. But they do. Since they took away my, uh... Resolution indicator... Which I guess they took away for everybody. It used to read 666P, and I liked having it up in the stream because it was sort of a novelty. But now it's gone, so I was thinking maybe I should just get a list of dumb novelty names and uh, populate the list of moderators with them. They wouldn't do anything, they'd just sort of sit there and... Maybe you could have a good chuckle. Or maybe you just think, wow, Tim, this is dumb, you suck at everything. And I'd think, oh, alright, well... Gotta think of funnier names. Am I still at 666P? Sure am, even if no one else sees it. Also... I had RPG Maker 2000. RPG Maker 2003 as well. That was a fun game. I made... terrible things. Also RPG Maker XP, and that was the last one I got. We tried to make a game on stream once, but it's... very slow going. I mean, you know, it's of course faster than making a real game from scratch, but... just making sure everything works and all the scripting is right. Kind of a pain in the butt. Not very fun. Should open the rod I closed. I don't think I closed anything. Oh, wait. I did close that, you're right. Good point, internet. Forgot about that. Oh yeah, the Friday RPG. But Rebecca Black released a bunch of other songs after that. So, it's sort of depreciated. I 
Apparently they're not awful. She released Saturday, I think, the other... Well, not the other day, but a couple of weeks ago. It sounds like every other song on the radio. Which is to say, not offensively awful, just very samey. I still have something closed. Oh, that's this. Flying turns one. It's not yet completed, so... It's gonna be closed for a bit. Until I get all the money, at least. Anyone? Money? Can you just... What are you doing? Fifty dollars in your pocket. Can't you just drop it? How much do I have to shake you out over these mountains? To make you drop all the money in your wallet. You're not using it. I mean, you brought it to the theme park with the intention of spending it, so just drop it on the floor. We'll pick it up, it's okay. We're doing you a favor, now you're gonna be unencumbered walking around the park with no money in your pocket. Does it feel weird streaming to all the people in the chat when it seems like I'm talking to myself? Uh, not really. It's weird to stream without a chat up, because you don't get any feedback on anything, and you have no idea if anyone's actually paying any attention to what you're saying, and it's sort of hard to come up with new topics, because there's not really a whole lot new... or a whole lot of new stuff being introduced. So that's why having the chat up is nice. It's a lot more awkward if the chat is not there. Check for guest 666. Oh, he's probably come and gone at this point. Oh no, there he is. Here. Now you have Satan. Have fun. One of these days I'll get enough money to finish this. Oh, he's on Junior Roller Coaster 1. Have fun, Lucifer. Let me know if the Prince of Darkness needs anything. Or if you'd like to, uh, buy an on-ride photo at a discounted rate. Can I sell these aliens? Oh, man. I could sell these Martians for money. Is it slavery if you're selling aliens? Does that count? Is there a moral dilemma there? Do aliens have family? Nah, they're probably fine. God damn it, I really have no money for any of this. Hmm. God, my throat is killing me. I was selling these aliens too. Sorry, dudes. I know it's gonna make the park more interesting, but I just can't afford these aliens. Jack up all the insurance bills, it's terrible. I'm already out of money. Again. Human rights are for humans. It sounds like a plan. Aliens have feelings too, but do they really? How do you know? You dirty alien sympathizer. What are they gonna do when they blast your wife and marry your daughter, huh? You gonna say they have feelings then? I don't think so. Yeah, they're just not allowed to live alongside people. Look, the aliens can hang out here. It's okay, but they have to be behind the fence. Or sold into slavery. That That's just how it works. How creeped out would I be if I walked into an amusement park with a sign that says casualties with a random number on it? Well, you know, as long as it's a small number, it's okay. Your robots are the only real humans. I'm running out of garbage to sell. I can't sell these. That take or, uh, Those take money to delete. I can sell these. It's empty screens. I can't sell the potholes. I can sell these. That's money. Yoink. 
No, nope, that's not it. Hang on. There it is. Free money, please. Hmm. Can't delete that. Can't delete this. People saying it's too expensive? No, good. Forty dollars. Use only bitcoins in my park. Oh man. I was tempted to buy into that at one point. Or light coins or something like that. Never got around to it, couldn't find a way to get into it that wasn't super shady. And then they exploded, and now I'm just sitting here wondering. Oh. Maybe I should have thrown money at Russian money wires. Then I could have been rich and or totally broke. Who is to know? Yeah, I'll just invest all of my money, all of my savings into Dogecoins. I'm still amazed that's a real thing. I think that's hilarious. And that... I'm not sure if it's really, you know, legitimate. I mean, I know it's technically legitimate, but... People are trying to have it gain some sort of legitimacy. They're doing better than my Nintendo stock. Oh god, don't remind me. Could you guys all just buy a Wii U please, because, like, the Nintendo stock I bought years ago is at about half its value right now, and if you, go, oh, you know, I'll go out and buy some Nintendo hardware and some t-shirts with Reggie and Shiggy on them, it'd be great. And then I could live in a mansion, and I could invite you over to hang out in the swimming pool after my Nintendo stock rebounds. I mean, you'd be poor because you spent all your money on Nintendo products, but it would work out fine for me. That'd be great. Can you run this on the Mac? Uh, I think it runs in Wine, but I can't promise it because I don't own a Mac. Hey, I invested in Nintendo prior to the Wii boom, and I bought in at like 30-something bucks, wrote it up to 70 and change, wanted to see if it would get to 100. It didn't. It crashed. It's now worth like 12, and I'm hoping it goes back up before I sell it at a massive loss. Look, when you're like 12 or 13 and your parents say, hey, do you want to invest in some stocks? What are you going to say as a kid? Of course you're going to say, oh, Nintendo video games. I don't know anything about economics. I didn't then, I don't now. I just wanted to say, Hey, I'm a Nintendo shareholder! <laughs> Look at me! And it was fun to say that, and then it lost a bunch of money. You bought Animal Crossing, is that good enough? God, I still have Animal Crossing sitting around. I barely played it. Do I read all the comments? Ah, uh, usually. No, Nintendo stock isn't that risky. It doesn't do anything now anymore. It's just sort of sitting around... low teens. Should've gone with Sony. It's apparently supposed to snow a whole bunch here. Let's see, what does it say at this point? Keep getting all these winter storm warnings. Like seven to twelve inches. We'll see. Hope school's canceled tomorrow. Oh wait, I'm on break. Doesn't matter. Hope school's canceled tomorrow so I can give all the elementary school kids five bucks to shovel out the driveway. I wouldn't do that. Do I know what a speed read? I know how to read read. I don't know... Speed reading is radically different. I could 
look at a thing and know what it means. Does that count? Am I a genius yet? Yeah, yet. What state do I live in? New Jersey. I should invest in a cough drop company because God, my throat is killing me and I'm gonna buy a whole bunch. God damn it, build my exit. It will snow. You have 12 inches in Chicago. Well, that means you got all the snow then. You took all the snow from us. You ruined it. Oh, this is gonna fly off. Well, no, maybe not. Oh, hey, what do you know? That's almost feasible. What is snow? Oh, snow is great when you're a kid. You don't have to shovel all of it. And then you get school off, and then it just eventually becomes another thing you have to deal with. How long until I go overseas? Uh, about 18 days. Go on the 20th, also night. Then, nice guy, Joker. How does it snow in Arizona? I thought you guys never got snow. Like Florida. You just have people eating each other's faces off. Hmm. What's the rating on this? Medium. Wow, that is not at all interesting. Good enough. It snows in Arizona all the time. If you say so. It seemed too hot for that. Oh, god damn it, I can't build this. Well, now it's gonna have a really dinky station platform, because that's all I can afford. Uh, build you up, up. Flat, flat, nope, nope. Snows in New Mexico. Where will I be going? Uh, London. For a semester. I have no idea what streaming's going to be like there. Also, let me mute the mic for a moment. I need to blow my nose. You have 2,074 doge coins. Oh man, veritable millionaire. It's my favorite game of all time. I don't know. It's kind of difficult to judge. I come up with a list of games that I really like, but one specific one, kind of hard. I really do like Majora's Mask, though. Also... GTA Vice City. A lot. I'll have better internet than I will in the US. I doubt it. I've heard, uh... Europe and Twitch don't necessarily get along that well. Who knows? What am I hitting? Wait, where is this in space? Where, where is this in relation to this track? I can't even tell. Can I go under it? Oh. Yes? What the hell is this? Ah, whatever. Turn off funding. Well, I want to see if they can invent something. I'd like to stream when I'm abroad, but I need to figure out how I'm going to do that, because I don't really know specifics of my living situation. It's going to be in the international student housing with everyone else who studies abroad, but in terms of roommate, I don't know. 
in terms of having a place to stream. I don't know. It's kind of hard just to turn the mic on and just start talking to yourself in the middle of a room with other people. They would all think I'm crazy. If I go to Sweden, I'll get fast internet. Well, I don't plan on studying abroad there. Unless somehow Sweden invades Britain and takes over in the next couple of weeks. I ever play Call of Duty? Uh, I played the second one, which I really liked, and the fourth one. That was it. I thought they were fun. I got the fourth on a console, though, and I suck at console shooters, so... I just died a lot on that. Uh, jetpack booster? I think we already have those. I want to build something else, but I've got no money. How about a motion simulator? In the future, you don't actually need to experience real motion. You don't go anywhere. You just have simulated motion. Everyone just sits in a room. It's like the giver. You don't experience anything. But it's all just on record. Somewhere. Where's my motion simulator? Looks like a giant pencil eraser. Or like the original iPhone with the little hunk of black on the back part. Why is no one giving any money to this park? You'd think at $40 a pop for an entrance fee it would help really make a bunch of money, but just no one's coming in. Maybe if I drop it and make it 35? Make it up on volume? I don't know. Simulated motion is only 60% less fun than actual motion. Sounds like a good value to me. Come on, get in the park faster! How much money do you have? Hmm. You had exactly forty dollars. That means maybe I shouldn't raise the price above forty. Or else I would turn him away and I wouldn't get any of his money. The motion simulator looks like an NES. What was that game I played? Or I was a girl on vacation, but I had to work odd jobs to make money to impress a guy. That was my boyfriend too. It was a game. So they tell me. It was actually sort of fun. It was really dumb. Really, really dumb. But... I had fun with it anyway. It was also... super glitchy. I got a chance to experiment with makeup and make everything hideous, and... top it all off, the game called me a slut. What am I going to school for? Uh, cell biology and molecular genetics. I have to pay down the loan, get a park value of 240 grand. Ugh. Well, I gotta get 80 grands of coaster. Where would I get that money? Where'd I get that money? Why have I not made the coaster that shoots people to their deaths? Well, making powered launch coasters in Roller Coaster Tycoon 2 is actually surprisingly hard, because the speed doesn't go up that much. Roller Coaster Tycoon 1, you can get the speed up to like 50, 60 miles an hour. In this one, it's like 20. It's not quite as fun. And plus, I kind of need people not to die. Can't get their money out of them if they're dead. It seems like it would make a whole lot of sense if they were, because you can just walk over to them and take their wallet, but no. Not an option. Also, I'm selling whatever the hell moon juice is. Delicious. Do I have a girl in my life? Dude, I'm playing a game about fake roller coasters. 
on an evening of my school break. What do you think? Spending all my time with moon juice. That's where the fun is. What's this? Double deck observation tower. Dodgems! Yeah! No one calls them dodgems. Bumper cars or bust. I think dodgems is a chiefly British thing anyway. Maybe? I don't know. I know they threw the term around a whole bunch in... like... Banjo Tooie, I think, and that was developed by British people, and also a really good game. Roller Coaster Tycoon is all you need, yeah. It's got all of your needs satisfied. It's got coasters, it's got animatronic aliens, unless you delete them because they take too much money. <laughs> yeah, pretend to be my girl. You're a boy, but adventurous. Yeah, we could work something out. I'll make all the streams really awkward, then. I have a grand. What do I do with a grand? One of these days, I've got to play, uh... Conker's Bad Fur Day. Never played it. I was kind of turned off because it seemed really dumb. Experience the illusion of time travel, sure. But... There was... I don't know if it's still going, it kind of stalled. A video series for uh, Conker's Bad Fur Day where the developers were playing through the game and commenting on it, which was really interesting, and then they sort of stopped updating it. But... It made it look like something I wanted to mess with, but it's also kind of expensive, so. Was tempting, though. This is my dream car. I have no idea. I used to drive a 2000 Ford Explorer, but the transmission on that went the other day. I was driving to the post office, and it just wouldn't engage in drive or reverse or anything, so I was just going down a street and uh, I was hitting the accelerator and it just wouldn't do anything, so it was just coasting down a street and I couldn't speed the thing up at all. Rethink the transmission shot, or it's just leaking transmission fluid, in which case it is okay, but that truck has had almost every part in it replaced. And it's probably time for it to go. At one point in time, I was driving to my uh, one of my lab jobs over the summer and I was merging onto the highway from an on-ramp and that's when the steering column went bad and the thing whipped around in the middle of the highway against the oncoming traffic at like 50 miles an hour it somehow came to a stop between the merging lane and the two highway lanes so I wasn't in the middle of a lane on the highway but man that truck it's had almost everything in it replaced not due to accidents, just due to the thing being decrepit when we bought it used. You can drive manual. Yeah, you can keep that. I can't drive a stick. I never learned, and I probably never will. Maybe one day, just to say I did it, but... I don't think... I have a whole lot of use to drive, or a whole lot of use for driving a manual and past the novelty factor of like, hey guys, look, look what I can do. It just seems a little aggravating to learn. I guess it always would be the first time, but I'm not really that big of a car guy to notice much of a difference. I just want to press the pedal and have the car go. And ideally not explode. How old am I? I'm 22. I turned 22 in December. I used to be 21, and then I stopped being 21. 
Now I have to look forward to becoming 35, where I can run for president. My tenure as president will look very much like this coaster. I might have to drive a manual at some point. Well, I'll just get a, uh, a chainsaw and cut a hole in the floor and just Fred Flintstone the car out of there. That's how you drive a manual. Yeah, I'll just stream every day forever. I'll just stop college. I'll stop uh, graduate school pursuits. Stream daily. Try to amass a viewership of tens of millions and then stage a successful write-in campaign for the presidency. Perfect. You'll have the two main party candidates going at it, and they'll never know, because this whole thing would have been a write-in campaign under the radar, and they'd both lose, and they would never have seen it coming. And there'd be no attack ads criticizing my roller coaster building skills or anything. I did it. That's my master plan. I wouldn't even need to or, uh, campaign, I wouldn't need to debate. I'd just play dumb roller coaster video games. And then I'd be voted in. Right? Something like that. Are you older than me? I don't know. I just sound old. I always sounded old. I'm 22, but my voice is like 50-something. Also doubly so, and I'm tired. That doesn't help. Yeah, I'll just be the president. I won't do any presidential things. I'll just stream. If you get elected president, can you just say no? Like, hey guys, I don't, I don't know why this happened, but I'm not really, not really down for the job. What am I going to graduate school for? Uh, there's a couple of programs that are all sort of similar, either on the scale of uh, more cell bio things or like molecular pharmacology for drug research and design. Honestly, I don't really have a specific bio topic I can really point to and say, that's what I want to do. So, I'm hoping I could get that nailed down. But who knows? I want to sit in my butt and sleep. And then after a few months, I'll wake up and say, alright, maybe I'll do this. But... It's not quite an option. I can't just be thrown in a freezer and then wake up a bit later and then have everything sorted out. Can I do a draw my life? I started as a small stick figure, then I got into a bigger stick figure. That's about it. Uh. That's, yeah, yeah, it's pretty much it. I grew hair. I ate food. I drank progressively more coffee. Yeah, that, that's the highlight, pretty much. How many hours a week do I study to pass all the exams? Uh, for finals, well, I think I streamed once or twice in the entirety of December which is when I had my finals, so I guess you can extrapolate it from that. But I had a really awful first year in college, so every semester since then has been just a mad dash to do better. And uh, bring the old GPA up. What was my first cup of coffee like? It's probably instant and not very good.
Hmm. What dog? What do you want? What? What are you groaning about? Yo. Yeah, hop up here. Ah. Grendel, what? He didn't really talk to you. Uh. What? You're just old. You make noise. Uh. What? What are you doing? What? Ugh. There you go. You can just sit here. Grr. He looks nothing like the Franker's dog. Like nothing at all. He's a Bichon and he doesn't look like the big fluffy prissy Bichons. He just looks like a scruffy Bichon. He's, uh, he's old, I guess. We adopted him and he was already a few years old. I got him in like sixth grade. I'm almost done with college, so what's that make? Like eight years? So he's like 12 or so. He doesn't do anything. He just sits around and licks or sleeps. That's about it. I feel bad for him because I want to, you know, have him do something, like run around or chase a toy or, I don't, whatever dogs do. But no, he's not interested, so he just sits. And that's about it. Not this fluffy. Uh, no. No, not at all. He is probably... Uh... These are all puppies. Yeah, th this is pretty close. Sort of like this. A little bit bigger. And... A little scruffier. But he's cut similar to that. Why is there so much barf here? You handymen are not doing a very good job, I'm sorry. You, crunch jaw. You can be the handyman. I just don't know what dogs do, you know? What do they do? What are they supposed to do? I mean, if he just wants to sleep, what am I supposed to do with him? Drag him around, say no, you have to do something with your life, Grendel? I don't think so. How much is the park worth? 177 grand? Uh, how is it taking this long to get more money in this park? Also, yeah, apparently Slutty Kate is the new... thing. A new spam bot thing. I haven't seen it around. Only today. Yes, that's what dogs do. Sleep, eat, and poop. What a life. I bet you're jealous. They sleep and make you comfortable when you're feeling down. Uh, I don't, I don't think mine cares that much. He just sleeps on whatever's close, and that's about it. Uh, God damn it, there's nothing here to make money from, is there? Dogs waste their lives playing video games all, oh. Gotta find more time for video games now that finals are over.
How's the loan going? Uh... I'm 20 grand in the hole. As always. One of these days I will find more money in this park. There's really nothing I can delete to get money, and it doesn't seem like it ever rains, which means no one's ever going to buy an umbrella. Hmm. I can't charge any money for this. I guess I could charge more for on-ride photos, but it's not like that's gonna really beef up any sort of money for this park. Uh, da, 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 da. You know, I wouldn't be surprised if somebody had made a dress Julia, honestly. Given how prevalent all the naked Julia sites are, it seems like a thing that would exist. What? What dog? I don't think we've invented mazes. No. We have halls of mirrors. That's almost as exciting as a hedge maze. Park value is 170 grand. But once I finish this ride, it'll go up a bit. Will I ever play Pokemon again? Uh, maybe one day. Gotta figure out when the gimmick of all the multiple screen things is sort of worn through. I mean, it's it's interesting and sort of fun in the beginning, but eventually I feel like it's just, alright, well, it's just three games being played relatively poorly with bad English between them. How am I losing more money? I don't remember going to the hole this deeply. Like, negative 300 bucks. It's the next marathon? I don't know. Been really busy, haven't had a chance to plan anything. Why don't I play Roller Coaster Tycoon 3? Uh, because I played all of Roller Coaster Tycoon 1 on stream, and now I'm doing 2. And when this one is done, I will go on to 3. Because 2 is the best. Pfft, no. Roller Coaster Tycoon 1 is the best. I think it's a better game than this. I feel like you have more freedom with what you want to build, whereas this is just... Hey, have fun doing another scenario where you can't charge for the rides and you can only charge for entrance, and that means you're going to be broke forever. That's not fun. Can I have an ad campaign? Are those allowed? Oh, they are. It's not going to help, really. Uh... Hmm... What can I do to get free money? Delete this, I can delete that. Get rid of this, get rid of that. Alright, that's... That's something. $94? Hey, I built one piece. That's it. That's all I got. Anything else? Free money? No? Alright, no more funding. You eggheads have had enough. Let's decrease the price to 35? I don't know, maybe that'll bring people in. Possibly. It's a discount. Sort of. Also, I don't know who Zakent is, but... I will pretend to know what you guys are talking about. Grendel, what? You sniffing the mic? Oh, Satan has bought some fries. Good on you. Gotta get more people to do that. Time to save if it goes bad. I'm not worried about it necessarily going bad, I'm just worried about it taking forever. It seems like it might. How do you get people to ride your insane roller coasters? Uh, make them not bad? The excitement has to be high. If the excitement isn't good, and the intensity is really high, 
no one's gonna want them. You have to have good excitement. Which essentially just means it has to go up and down and spins around a bunch. Make every turn banked, don't make it go really fast on a turn. Uh, make it go underground, above water, put scenery around it. All of that stuff. Close this. Oh, I can't. If I had enough money, I would bang out a coaster really fast and show you, but they're all pretty much the same. Every design I make, maybe not this one. I wanted to get this one close to the ground because then they cost a bit less money. Pieces are cheaper when you're closer because you don't have to pay for the giant supports. Grendel, what? What are you doing? Dog things. Spend more money! What are you doing? What are you doing? How much money do you have? Fifteen dollars. Find more. Give me all of it. What are you gonna do with that fifteen bucks, huh? You don't need it. You're not building a multi-million dollar theme park, are you? Alright, how about... I know it'll get people talking. Everyone loves... Uh, uh... These rides suck. Everybody loves a monorail. Yup. And... What's better than a monorail? Well... Uh... I don't have any place for the monorail. A monorail that goes in a circle. Oh, wait. I don't have any money for that either. I don't have any money for anything. It's going to be a great monorail, okay? Kids are going to love it. They're going to be all... Oh, man. This is the best thing ever. After I run away from my parents because... All of my hormones and teen angst tells me that's what I should do. I'm gonna come right to extraterrestrial extravaganza and ride the monorail. They'll love it. Except I've got no money. Hmm. Only one casualty so far. I'm tempted to sell the sign to get my money back out of it, though. Just sort of defeating the purpose of having it at all. Nah, if you lock people up and put them in a place with only expensive items, they're not gonna pay for them. They're just gonna complain. Uh, I can't really open the game in multitask scenarios, because if it's not the active window, it stops. So, can't really play two of these at once. Is this on Mars? Sure. It's... It's the site of one of my old theme parks, except everything is stained red. From all the blood from the accidents. Can I increase the game speed? Uh, no. There's no way to do that. Unfortunately... It would be really, really nice if you could. But you can't. I'm still building this thing. I hope people like the monorail. It goes in a circle. I guess by definition it's still a monorail. Do I play Minecraft? Nah, not really. I used to a bit, but... I ran out of inspiration to make anything. I would just find diamonds and then call it a day. Oh man, found diamonds! Done with Minecraft. I win. They added a bunch of content since then, but... 
don't have a big urge to go back. Oh wait, I'm above the pathway. Am I above the pathway? Hang on. There it is. Oh, so I can put the exit there. Exit. Right there. Perfect. Make it radioactive green. Oops, put it in the wrong spot. Exit. Radioactive green again. Down and good. Not a desperation monorail. They'll love it. What the name kids can relate to. It speaks to America's youth. Also, it's going to be hot pink and green. Because I know what the kids like. And it's this. Yeah. Almost. Almost. Is the most beautiful ride in this park. Every ride in this park has to make someone want to throw up somehow. Either from the intensity, or from the beautiful color schemes. That's our goal. It's part of our mission statement. Also, thank you, Ampotent, for subscribing. Can I show the die map? Oh, that's on the other Roller Coaster Tycoon game, not on two. This map is actually the lake bed of the die map. Well, you see, it's the future map. So after the die map dries up and all the ruins and bodies are exhumed, this is what it is. And then in Roller Coaster Tycoon fashion, they just built another theme park on top of it. Grendel, do you want to jump down? You just want to sit there? Alright, well, I'll just let you hang. No, I haven't remade it in Roller Coaster Tycoon yet. Or, uh, Roller Coaster Tycoon 2 yet. I will eventually, but I have to find a scenario that's going to have a bunch of people in it. I haven't really gotten one that I think's good enough yet. You know, to build up into a die map. Hmm. Yeah, I can get rid of that. Can I build that? No. Let's see. Started at a height of 130. Eh, I could probably go higher. Not vertical yet. That's probably good enough. Oh man, it goes up and down. Bet your roller coasters are that good. Is everything playing future space music yet? Space music. Dodgem's beat. Space beat. People like the monorail? You know, I should have put an on-ride photo on this, but you can't. I should have built a ride that you could put an on-ride photo on. Would have been a really dumpy ride, but... Could charge money for the photo. Use the Martian music. I need more sub-emotes, that's probably true. I just haven't thought of anything yet. Grendel, get down. I want to get my legs back. You're sitting on them. Go! Hop down! Go! Come on! Grendel! Go! There you go. Oh, there are so many Kappa emotes. Dozens, I'd imagine, if you look through the Twitch emotes site. What? What are you doing? Ooh, Grendel, get more money in the park. We're sort of running out of cash here, and this ride's never going to get done. 
Oh, did somebody ban the uh, glitchy Kappa face? How dare they! Also, thank you for subscribing, Fairy Nisms. I've not found a new dating sim I wanted to play. I downloaded one that I thought might be fun, but it turns out it's just C-grade deviant art pornography. So... Oh well. What can you do? One of these days I will censor all the images and maybe play it. But sadly... What was the name of the game anymore? I forgot. It was... I guess there's nothing pornographic on the title screen. I downloaded this because I thought it'd be really funny. It... it wasn't. It was just bad. It was Gender Bender DNA Twister Extreme. With your favorite characters and this thing. Coming soon! Uh, uh, just gotta close this now, I guess. And I thought, you know, it's a terrible game, terrible artwork, I bet it'll be hilarious. No, it's just a bunch of topless anime things. And. It's not Twitch friendly. Oh god. Okay, the plot of the game is that they're doing some I don't I don't remember. Everyone in the lab gets transformed into a woman and everyone is totally down with that. No one's concerned after the first five minutes. And then instead of figuring out how to turn back, the focus turns to oh wait. Maybe I can use this technique to get bigger boobs. And then they do. And then eventually they transform into like half cat, half octopus, mermaid things, and it's just, oh god. Of course, all the while, hardly anyone's wearing a shirt. And I'm sure that would not make Twitch too happy. Yes, that, that game got $27,000 in crowdfunding money. That's... That's the surprising thing. Grendel, hey. <whistles> Grendel, stop licking your leg. Yo, hey. Dog's got this bad habit of licking his leg and licking all the fur off and then getting it all... raw. And then we have to put the lampshade Elizabethan collar on him and then he bumps into things and... Uh, I don't know. I can't make him not lick his leg, because it's always sort of attached to him. But I don't really know what else to do about it, so... Grendel! <whistles> Yo! Oh, whatever. Did I buy it, or was it free? I bought it! It was $12, because it was on sale. 50% off, that's right, they charge $25 for that game. $25, $25, that is more than two dozen dollars for that deviant art abomination. I thought it'd be great, I had high hopes for it. It was not, and unbeknownst to me, I should have just spent more of my money on getting a bunch of 30 cent copies of Pizza Dude and streaming that instead, because that has proven to be far more entertaining than DNA, extreme, gender, transform, anime, let's all get naked, extreme game, supremo, has been so far. So, there you go. That's why I'm broke. Do I like Apple products? I, they're alright, I guess. I just use Windows everything. Had an iPhone at one point, but that has since been replaced. So, 
They're neat, but I don't really have a big budget, and Windows does everything I need it to, so... Sticking with that for now. You see, when I'm buying a bunch of really awful games, a bunch of awful dating sims that got, say, for example, not mentioning anything in specific, $27,000 in crowdfunding and sort of revolve around getting awful anime characters naked, not, again, referring to any specific game, just in general, you sort of run out of money to spend on expensive electronics. Maybe if I were better managing my money and didn't buy games like the one I had outlined, maybe. Maybe I'd have an entire room full of shiny Apple products. There is a free demo. If I were smart, I would have played that. But I didn't, because I'm not. Oh, I was thinking of playing Jurassic Heart one day, but I never got around to it. I had it on my favorites list because I was anticipating playing it, but I forgot. Oh, you remember when we played the lewd CDI game in the charity stream? Yeah, that was Voyeur on our Zelda marathon in 2009. Had a parental passcode you had to unlock. I remember that. And then I raffled that CDI or the CDI off to one of the winners, who donated money to the uh, fundraiser, and the CDI broke in transit. I felt kind of bad about that. Then again, it's a CDI, so I don't really think he wanted it much to begin with. Oh, thanks, best name ever. You hope to support the awesome developer. You want to see something really bizarre? That's my dog. Or a dog that's like mine. That's really bizarre. This terrible thing. I mean, look, look at the artwork on this. Just $27,000 for this. Look at this. Oh, okay. Well, the other day, this was like 13 out of 13,000 in terms of popularity. Alright? It was the creme de la creme. Like the, the 0.01% of every game on IndieDB ever. It's still 61 out of 13,000, which is entirely too high for what it is. But, God, it, it was like one of the top dozen. It made no sense. I don't... I mean... It, I just feel gross looking at all the artwork on this, and... Uh, I just felt so skeevy playing this. I mean, God, this game. Sorry, I'm just disappointed I didn't get a chance to do anything with it. Just, she's a mermaid, but not, and breasts, and a cat, but not, and then I... Oh, where are the roller coasters? That was worth twenty-seven thousand dollars. Just, just let that, just, just sink in. You've seen worse art. Have you seen worse art get twenty-seven grand though? That's the thing. I mean, I'm, I'm not here to necessarily judge them for bad art quality, but I, I don't. I would say play it, and then you'll see what I mean, but then you'd have to spend, like, $25 on it, and that's not recommended either, so. Is this the screenshot that I think this is the screenshot of? Yes, it is. This is taking too long. I want boobs now. Yep, that's right from the game. This is how scientists talk, by the way. As a bio major, I can confirm that's exactly how we speak. So, video games, man, 
I should demand a sequel. If you gave them, I think, like five grand or two grand or something, you could have gotten your own character that you designed in the game. And, you know, like five people did that. I love it, Nighthawk. We require more boobs. Jeez. Yes, five people donated 2,500 bucks for their own roots. I, j I just... Ugh. I wish I had that much disposable income. To be totally honest, 2,500 bucks is probably more than I have in my checking account right now. So, of, of all the things that money could go to, just put breasts on my fake drawn character that... Uh, so, how about video games? How about roller coasters? What do you think of balloons and halls of mirrors? Here's my original character. It's just boobs. Like, there, there's no character part to it, it's just... a child's drawing of breasts. Can you put this in the game? Can you add boobs to the boobs? That's my demand. He played the demo. Did you like it? No, you didn't. I, I know. I, I can sense it. I'm gonna put this... <laughs> Why am I putting the pillar right in the platform? I want to... What do you want? Oh, I thought he said he wanted to go home. If that were the case, I'd have to throw him in my river of jello. No, go. Go play the demo. It's free. I don't know where the demo ends, but just... Just play it. it. It might be worth it as an educational experience. A lesson in game design. A lesson in, holy crap, that's a lot of vomit. I guess they must have seen screenshots for Extreme, Gender Bender, DNA, Twister Supreme, Deluxe, Hyper Fighting. Yes. Oh god, yeah, I also paid... How much money was that Border Patrol game I bought? That was absolute garbage. The only thing I got out of that Border Patrol game was just shooting people and tasing them over and over at random. It sounds a lot more fun than it really was, believe me. The game... was just, I think, flat out broken. I wasn't trying to be intentionally obtuse while playing it either. It just didn't work. Just, just the fundamentals of making this game Border Patrol, whatever it was. Not Tycoon, but something similar to that. Just did not function. Papers, please. If you want to play a good game about Border Patrol agents. Highly recommend that one. I had a really fun time with Papers, please. Cared more about my fictional son than a lot of video game characters. Bought him the biggest box of crayons I could. Cause fakey son is worth it to me. I spend the entire time shooting people. It's true. But they might have tried to cross the border. I didn't know that they weren't going to. Look, I kept America safe. I'm sorry you have a problem with that. What's the point of stopping crime if the crime has already been committed? You have to shoot people before they think. What are my PC specs? It's this. Also, it was making popping noises today. One of which was heard on stream, so I'm hoping the thing doesn't explode. I don't have any money for a new one. What game made me care most about a kid? I can't really think of that many games I played where I have a kid. 
I guess. Um, hmm. Other than games that I had a kid because I designed a kid, like a la The Sims, and they got taken off to military school, <laughs> then I really can't come up with too many. Never played The Last of Us yet. One day. PS3 is still in a box. I didn't have any chance to use it while in college. So it's just sort of sitting around. But I didn't have a son in Persona. Persona, I was like 17 or 18. <laughs> a little young to have kids in that game. I don't think Tommy Versetti had a child either. I should play Hamtaro Ham Ham Heartbreak. It's a dating sim and hilarious to play as an adult. Uh... Do I want to date hamsters? Did I care about my kids in real lives? Nope! So Papers, Please made me care about my fictional kids infinitely more than I cared about them in real lives. That's an achievement. God, the park value's gone down so substantially. Why am I not making any money? Hmm. Is this closed? Why is it broken? Is the Hamtaro game supposed to be intentionally bad, or is it just hilarious just accidentally I've never heard of it what's it called? Hamtaro Ham Ham Heartbreak pull it up the phone maybe while I farm out money let's see Taro Ham Ham, a heartbreak. I had a friend who really liked Hamtaro. I never really did. I had hamsters growing up. They weren't as cute as you'd see on TV. They were just sort of nasty and they'd bite you. Can you hear the wind out there? It's all stormy today. Oh, it's a Game Boy game. I thought it was a Flash game. I could buy a copy on eBay for $95. Guess I could download the ROM on this. And then go to jail, because downloading ROMs is highly illegal, and you should not do it, or else you will be arrested and shot. An adventure game more than a dating game. Oh, if I can't date cute hamsters, what's the point? What's the point? There isn't one. Zero points. Can I play Homefront? Uh, what's Homefront? I'm thinking of Homeworld. That's a different game entirely. You can send me your copy. I'd have to go and drag the uh, Game Boy player out and all the capture device stuff. I don't know where that is. Play Sprung. Oh, dude, I remember Sprung. It's like the DS came out. Alright, well, the DS is out. What do I buy in it? Uh, Mario? Alright, what else? Uh, Ping Pals? Sprung? The Herbs? The original DS had such a bad launch. So bad. There was nothing to play on it. Just played the original Metroid Prime Hunters demo that came with it over and over. And I thought it was really cool. But the thing about it was just... God, did that take a long time to get software. Oh, Ping Pals was terrible. Ping Pals is just pick to chat, except you had to pay 30 bucks for it. You know, I'm almost done building this ride. 
No, I'm not. Meteos is a good game, but it wasn't a launch game. Later than M Star 20. Thank you for watching. Haven't played any 3DS games since Ace Attorney came out. That was sort of the big one I was looking forward to. Never played the original Luigi's Mansion, never had a whole lot of interest in playing the sequel. I don't really like Animal Crossing. Never played a Fire Emblem game, and that's kind of it. I played Mario 3D Land, I've got a grand of time. Um, What else do we even own for the 3DS? I don't remember. It's video games. I just wanted the right to buy Ocarina of Time again, that's why I bought a 3DS. Yeah, I sort of dropped off a cliff of Pokemon as well, I don't really play that either. So... I really haven't used it too much, honestly. How long is Ace Attorney 5? Eh, like 20 and change hours. If I had to guess. It's pretty alright, I would say. Probably top three Ace Attorney things. Grendel, hey, I hear you licking back there. Stop. No licking. I'm too addicted to Persona 4. No, I already finished Persona 4. Persona 4 Golden. That's a fun game. X and Y is a love letter to Gen 1 people. Hey man, I'm not a Gen 1 person. A Gen 2 person. Not the Linux build. I think Gen 2 is... so good. There's so much stuff in Gold and Silver I still don't know. Which is fine. I'm not actually interested in learning all of it as much as I am interested in just playing it and thinking, Oh yeah, I don't know what this does. It's still sort of fresh, and... I don't know. Look, if I were to be telling you... If, if I were to say a lot of the games I play are not fueled by nostalgia, I would be lying to your face. And I think that's a lot of the reason I enjoy, you know, the Game Boy Pokemon games. But not... It's, you know, not specifically because I really, really like Pokemon, just because I like those games and the time period that I sort of associate with them. And that's part of what makes it fun. I mean, mechanically, the original Pokemon games are really not that great, and they're also super broken. But that's not the point. You know, I just play games to zone out for a bit, and you know, if I can pretend I'm eight years old, then so much the better. You know, I never turn the chain speed up on all these things. Yeah, fueled by nostalgia to the extent I'd play three at the same time. Busy reading the book of Genesis. Forgot about me. You know, when I go to the UK in a few weeks, are they all going to refer to it as the book of Mega Drive? The dumb Haha, <laughs> video game jokes. Man, that's some A material. It's also 424 in the morning, so I'm not very funny at this time. Or any time. That's all I got. They're just gonna get worse from here, folks. Am 
by getting Puyo Tetris? No, I doubt it. The Puyo Puyo games I like are just the older ones, because the newer ones just have so many gimmicks in them that I can't really keep up with what's what. And Puyo Tetris just seems like an extension of that. I just want to stack beans and match colors. I don't want all these little extra bits to it. Is that a good ride? High, high, medium. Good enough. Let's open it. Guys, please ride this. Oh, how more am I going to get 50 grand of park value? Hmm. What do I do when I'm studying in the UK? Yeah, I've got classes and whatnot. All the classes are about Britain, effectively. This is British culture. This is British art. This is British government. There's a class that literally said you will interact with British people as an anthropology class, but it was uh, not offered. I think they dropped it, unfortunately. Which park is this? It is Extraterrestrial Extravaganza in Roller Coaster Tycoon 2. It has robots. It's kind of a mess. Thousand Year Door was so good. Ah, uh, Thousand Year Door went way too long, I think. I think the original Paper Mario was way, way better. Much tighter game than Thousand Year Door was. It also still looks really pretty for an N64 game. Is it from an expansion? Uh, yes, I think it is. Well... Maybe it isn't. It's one of the intermediate parks. No, I bought Sticker Star. I played through it. It, uh... It wasn't really, really good, but it was enjoyable enough for what it was. The bosses were all sort of really dumb, though. If you don't have this specific sticker slash item slash thing, you will not win. The end. Which one do you need? We're not telling you. Hey, I, look, I played Thousand Year Door start to finish on a marathon once. Ended up having me awake for like 40-something, 50-something hours. I wanted to die while playing Thousand Year Door. And I can't not think of Thousand Year Door outside of that context. Being tired and miserable and lost. So maybe it's no fault of Thousand Year Door... But that's all I can think about with that game. Dupless. Oh. The novelty of finding the P the first time was sort of funny. But every other time I played it, it's just, oh, I'll put a big P in. It still says Dupless. Can I get on with this now? No. It doesn't count. It's got to be the little P. I finished that coaster, also high Converse Pro. The thing that I remember about that marathon is that people in the chat were telling me when I was really tired playing Thousand Year Door, I'd go to the sink and splash some water in my face. And then I did that and I was away for a minute or two and I came back to the chat and everybody thought I had just drowned. It's not a fair way to play it. Well, I played it before as a kid as well. Played it on the marathon more recently though. So that's the memory that persists. Oh god, no one's going to understand what I mean by this, because no one's ever been able to see the thing the way I see it. But what is the name of that thing? The ghost thing. Vivian? Yeah, I always saw this... See, I look at it now and I realize, alright, that's the hat, that's the hair, those are the cheeks, that's the mouth. But I always looked at it, I thought Vivian was like a dog, in a way. Like, it's, it's not going to make any sense, but... As a kid, I saw this and thought, well, no, not that image, this image, and thought, like, that's the eye in this little squiggle, and that's, like, a nose? 
of a dog in a way, like it's sort of pointed. I didn't think that was a smile. I thought that was just sort of there. And I I don't know what I thought that was. But that's that's what I thought Vivian looked like. It didn't have it didn't really have a mouth. It didn't really have an eye. It just sort of had a squiggly in the eye part and this sort of no one no one's going to see what I'm talking about. That's <laughs> That's what I thought playing it as a kid. Like, if you ignore this part, I'm telling you, man. No no one's going to see it. I don't know why I'm trying to go out of my way to explain this, because no one's going to get it at the end of the day, but... Alright, just, just imagine if Vivian didn't have this or this, and it's sort of like a dog nose. I thought Vivian looked like that, because I played it in a really tiny TV, and I guess the details in the mouth weren't super obvious. So I thought Vivian's eye was around here, and she had a nose sticking up here. That's what I thought Vivian looked like. And like perspective-wise, no, it doesn't really make any sense. But I thought I thought that's just what the model was like. I. Look, if you don't see it, that's okay. <laughs> but I always thought Vivian just looked like that. Sort of like a tiny little dog head. But, like, it was... Like, this part's the dog head, and it was on top of a bigger head, which I don't know why this didn't register that this is the head and this is the hair. But, <laughs> yes, I, I guess it had a dog glued to its face. I don't know. I'm sorry. But that that's what I thought at, like, ten years old. What I thought the rest I don't I thought the rest of the body was just the body. I don't know why I thought the face was on like a different part of the face, but that's just what it was. Yeah, I thought Vivian was like a ghost dog thing. Look, what do you want from me? <laughs> I was dumb in elementary school. Middle school too. Reminds me of this post I saw for someone who saw, and this is going to be difficult to explain because it was really hard for me to see it, but they saw Dr. Robotnik in his little egg floater thing from the 2D games as like the underside of someone's face with a big mustache. It's, I could look it up, but I didn't think it originally ever looked like that, so... It'll be hard for me to explain what it's supposed to look like. Let me see. Uh, I think I called it. Is it this? Yeah. So they thought, like, oh, this is totally unrelated. But somebody thought this Robotnik thing was part of this guy's face, in a way. Like, if you took away the front part of Eggman's, or Robotnik's egg flyer, and you just imagined Robotnik's body there, it's a guy looking up. Those are his teeth, and that's his nose. Those are the nostrils. That's his bushy red beard. That's his big helmet. I. This is not what I thought he ever looked like, but I sort of see it in the image. If that makes any sense to anybody, it took me a long time to finally figure out what they're getting at with it, though, so don't feel bad if you don't see it. Uh, somebody drew an image of it, too. It's like, imagine a face vaguely like this, where it's got a bushy red beard and buck teeth and a nose and a mustache and, like, orange on its face for whatever reason. Well, that's this. It's looking up. That's the beard. That's the lower part of the mouth. Those are the buck teeth. That's the nose and the nostril. Robotnik's mustache is his mustache. This bit of the egg flyer is up here, part of the helmet. Do you, do you sort of see? <laughs> I mean, looking at this, it's very hard to tell. You really need to modify the image a lot so it makes sense in the context, but... 
I didn't make that one up. I saw it on the internet uh, a couple years ago. And I thought it was funny and sort of along the same lines what I was talking about with Vivian. It's really dumb, but not necessarily something that once you see, you can't unsee, but every now and then I look at Robotnik and think, oh yeah, it's sort of that face, isn't it? It's not like that, uh, that GoldenEye box art where James Bond just has a really, really long mouth. That one, I can't unsee. And I'm sure you've all seen that image, but... Look it up if you don't know what I'm talking about, because that is definitely something that ruined the GoldenEye box art for me. And the cartridge, too. Let's see it. Okay, fine. This. This has been around the internet for a while, though, but... That's supposed to be his hand, but no, it's just the really elongated James Bond monkey mouth. This... I never thought it looked like that. But now... I can't not see James Bond with a really, really long mouth. Also, that is wind outside. We're having a big storm. Oh well. It's supposed to snow a whole bunch too. It sounded like a demon spirit. That's why I don't have the webcam on. Then you'd all find out that's what I really am. But that image is super old. I just assumed everyone would have seen it at this point. Oh man, Park Value was so close. Oh god, speaking of things that really fit with Chrono Trigger, I'm sure this is another thing you probably heard of, but uh, Robo's theme is effectively the same rhythm as uh, Never Gonna Give You Up. And they all work really well together. Might be too loud. Again, this isn't new either, but... Still think it's kind of funny. I never actually finished Chrono Trigger because I'm a terrible person. <laughs> but there you go, that's another thing that exists. Just the link if anyone wants. But yeah, video games. I really need to finish Chrono Trigger, though. Maybe I'll just pick up the DS remake and drag it with me. I feel like when I have to spend a bunch of time in a game, probably more than likely to finish it if it's on a portable versus a console. It's so much more convenient. Gotta get at least one ending. I got the bad ending where everyone dies and Lavos comes back because I couldn't beat the thing. I don't think that counts though. That's like the default, you didn't even try ending. I was thinking I could get the Chrono Trigger release on the PlayStation Network and drag it around on the Vita, but apparently that one has horrific loading times, and it seems like a pretty good way to kill a game if it has to load a whole bunch between every battle. So maybe I'll just pick it up on the DS one day and that'll be that. I know a lot about computer hardware, ah, eh, not really. I know you put 
the piece on the board and you plug it in and then it maybe doesn't catch fire. Also, Celerons are bad. Did I help? Did I solve your problem? Did you unplug it and put it back in? Did you blow the dust off the... I got nothing. All endings on stream. Oh god, I die. I've never finished Chrono Trigger. I don't think I could finish it on stream at least in one sitting. I stream in the UK. I'd like to, but I have to see what my living arrangements are like. Plan to finish more of the translated Pokemon. Uh, yeah, one day. It's on the list as well as Nintendo Nightmare. Can I show the full red and orange coaster? Oh, this thing? It's not that great, but I ran out of money, so it's just sort of uninteresting. It goes up, then it goes down. I'm just keep an eye on this. Really windy out there. Hmm, I keep getting all these weather alerts on my phone. What? I know. Winter Storm Watch, Coastal Flood Watch. I know, I know, we're all going to die. I've seen it. Coastal Flood, whatever, it's fine. Now I get like half a foot of snow, big deal. We'll survive. Get the candy skip. I don't know what that means. I gotta get more money to pay this loan down. I also gotta build something that's worth 40 grand as well. I should check out Facade. Oh god, I played the hell out of Facade. I clipped through the wall and outran Trip, who was trying to kick me out after I said melons for an hour just running around the outside borders of the apartment. I've played Frog Fractions. Really good. Had fun with it. Scenario is extraterrestrial extravaganza. Oh, Facade is a terrible game. I thought it was revolutionary at the time, but it was just super dumb. Do I think the new SimCity is worth buying? Problem with the new SimCity is that it presents you with a way to play SimCity that's not a bad way to play SimCity, but they make it the only way to play SimCity. Like, if you want to micromanage your city block by block, building by building, yeah, sure, no problem, it's fine. If you want to just make a big sprawling thing with multiple city blocks laid down at a time and you don't really care about individual happenings, Eh, you're not really going to have a whole lot of fun with the new SimCity, because you don't have a lot of space to build anything. And that's kind of how I played SimCity. I just tried to fill up the whole map as best I could and make it as good of a city there as I could make it be. But the new SimCity game is just, alright, make a tiny little city, and you have to make a city in conjunction with other people's cities, or your city's not going to fail because you can't have everything your city needs in one city. And since space is such a premium, you have to keep micromanaging everything you do, every individual building. And it wasn't... It was fun, but I ran out of space and I ran out of things to do really fast. On the order of like five or six hours. And I know I could have replayed it and you know, tried to make it better, because it was the first time I played through it and it obviously wouldn't be the best city. But I would rather just play like SimCity 3000 or something over the new SimCity. That's probably cheaper as well. I think I played SimCity 4 on stream. I had the Rush Hour expansion and I was driving the cars and crashing into everyone. I don't know if people still play SimCity though. I feel like after the drama of that whole thing died down, no one's really talked about SimCity since. 
I'm hungry. All right, fine. I'll build you stuff. Food. The only food we have are French fries. Delicious French fries. It's the only food group. I don't have any money. Oops. Oh, does anyone have a screenshot from when I played SimCity that one time on stream and I built all the houses underwater? Hmm, I know I tweeted it at one point, but I don't remember where the images are. The scenario is extraterrestrial extravaganza. I can't afford pizza, I can only afford fries. Times are tough. You can have one or the other. Also, I've never played any Candy Box 2. Played the original a lot. Not the second one. Played the original when I was doing finals last year. And I just wanted to do something as my computer was on all the time. Marugo, what did you make? Do I dare click? Yeah, see, you could tell what I mean. It had a dog head. I'm telling you. That's what Vivian looked like. It had the curly eye and the little nose. That's exactly what Vivian looked like, except without the rest of the dog body. I don't know where that part went. But I'm telling you. I'm not crazy. I mean, I might be crazy, but... It, it almost could be jimmied into looking like a dog. Is this the screenshot? Oh yeah, that's right, I also made this. The highway making tool is super broken. Like making a straight highway from here to there? Impossible. I managed to make your small intestine as a highway and it worked way better. And it shouldn't have. But that's SimCity. Grab a what? What are you doing? What are you doing? Hanging out under my chair. Oh, I'm the water. Ugh, come here. Come here. Ugh. What? What? What do you want? What? I'm croning at. Played SimCity, the new one, SimCity 3000, SimCity 4, a little bit of SimCity 2000, only at a friend's house, I didn't own it. And uh, SimCity 3000 Unlimited, I would say, is my favorite. That's the one I played the most. Also, SimCity 4 crashed a whole bunch of my old computer, so I never sunk that much time into it. What? You make a noise at? Yeah, if you could speed up time in Roller Coaster Tycoon, that'd be great. Cause I really have to get more money to pay this loan back. I don't know where it's gonna come from, though. I could charge more money for admission, but uh. I want to charge more money for admission, but I don't want to... How about free rides on Junior Coaster 1? No, free rides on Vertical Drop 1. It's already free, but maybe people will come in and pay admission. Why don't I get a better computer instead of going to college? I don't know, this one works. This computer is still functional. I don't have any money, so... At least not enough for a new computer. Found this. What is this? Oh yeah, they sent me that. Brainard Rue is in the chat. This came in the P.O. box over the summer. And that's the version of the Oregon Trail 2 I've been playing ever since.
How am I going to get the computer to college? Well, it's going to be a laptop, so just stuff it in a bag. And it's there. No problem. I need more money. It's windy out there, man. Surprisingly so. What's the weather say? How windy is it? Does it really matter? Not really. Light rain. 40 miles an hour. 41 tomorrow. Cool. Can I make the ground look like pyramids? Uh, I don't have enough money for that. Can't find the underwater houses. Oh well. I have them somewhere. Hmm. No other stuff I could sell. Can't sell these plants. They cost money to delete. I sold all the aliens. Hmm. How am I going to handle buying 3DS games? Uh, honestly, it's not even anything I've thought of. Like, oh no, how am I going to buy 3DS games when I go to Europe? It's not too big a consideration right now. Grr, Grendel what? Grendel what? Oh, that's right, the middle button. Zooms in and out. I've been looking at this little part of the park for ages. Sell all the extra jello. Invite all the homeless people in. Solve world hunger. It's totally jello, man. The majestic jello rivers of Mars. Nine sixty, nine sixty three, nine ninety a money. Just fourteen grand to go. Where is all this money gonna come from? I mean, if I sit on this long enough, I'll eventually get it. But God, it's not making enough money nearly fast enough. Kind of what? Do you want to get down? You want to hang here? I really can't tell. He's just sitting here, his face on my arm on the table. And what? I'm gonna sit there then. Whatever. One minute. Died. House blew up. Dog blew up. Hey, 
And I still don't have any more money. Where's all the money in this park? Uh, the scenario is so close to being done, but the problem is I have to get 14 grand out of nothing. And I don't know where it's going to come from without just leaving the scenario up. Uh, I guess I can always finish it some other day. What's most profitable? I don't know. None of it, really, because all the money is made from ride admission, or uh, from theme park admissions, not individual rides. So they're all equally unprofitable. Pretty much. Yeah. It's just some things are less profitable, or just less bad than other things. Enslave my park goers, but they're never gonna give me money that way. Hmm. Let me save. Well, I hate to do it, I hate to say it, because I wanted to finish this scenario, but. No, I, I can't delete everything to make enough money because I have to keep park value above. Uh, 240,000. But, uh... If I delete everything, park value goes to zero. So that's not gonna work. But, it's five in the morning. And it is... Starting to snow out here. And I need to ban this guy. And... I think... I should probably go and take a bit of a nap so I could get up and start shoveling. Which I'm probably going to have to do because it is shaping up to not be super nice outside. So, uh, maybe I'll stream it again tomorrow, but for now I think I might need to call it quits because it's getting kind of late and I'm going to have things to do tomorrow. So, let me turn this off. Sorry, I, w I would keep it going for as long as I could, but... I've got stuff I have to do, and I'm going to be working on things tomorrow, and I can't stay up until like 6 or 7 a.m., which I think I might end up having to do for that scenario, just because it's making money so slowly. So... Gonna turn this off, I think, but thank you guys for watching. I'll stream later this week, maybe tomorrow, maybe the day after, maybe Friday, Saturday, I don't know. But anyway, again, thanks for watching. Uh consider consider not buying Gender Bender DNA Twister Extreme. Also, I guess consider following the stream if you want, or following my dumb Twitter account where I talk about the stream and all of that junk. And, uh, I'm going to head off. If you want to hang out in the chat for a moment, I'll run some quick advertisements and make, like, $2 and help fund buying more terrible games, which I will never play, because it turns out they're pornographic. Cough, cough, no, I'm not bitter at all. So, thanks again for watching, guys. Sorry for the abrupt end, but I'm really kind of tired of my throat's killing me. So, uh, see you hopefully next, not next week, this week. More games, another version of the Oregon Trail, possibly start up Long Live the Queen and see what that's all about. And I'm off. Thank you guys, and see you next time. Here comes some commercials and whatever else XSplit ends up putting up for video. Good night.
Dream.